Hey, Merry Christmas, 30-06 John here, and today what we're going to be reloading is 45 ACP using the Hornady 185 XTP bullet. For components today, we're going to be using, of course, the Hornady 185 grain XTP bullet. Usually I shoot two 30 grain bullets out of my uh, 45 ACP pistol, but I think I'll try these and just see how they shoot. For powder, we're going to be using Ramshot Silhouette. I've used this for uh, two 30 grain loads. It seemed to work okay. For brass, I picked up a bunch of this once fired Seller and Bellet brass. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Anyhow, it looks pretty good. Tumbled up nice. For primers, I'm going to be using CCI large pistol primers. Uh, they call these their 300 size primers. For load data, they do show the 185 grain Hornady XTP bullet. This is in the new Hydrogen 2022 reloading manual. But they show a starting load of 8.9 and a max load of 9.9 .9 grains of silhouette. That sounds hot to me. Um, they also have the 185 Remington Golden Sabre bullet. And for silhouette, powder they have 7.6 to 8.9 grains of silhouette i think i'm going to try that um, i'm going to try nine grains of silhouette and just see how that shoots for pistol today i'm going to be using my everyday carry 1911 this is a kimber custom here is my first loaded round it looks good nice crimp on it so you get this thing in focus a little bit there we go. Primer just below flush. Nice taper crimp on it. Hey, we're back from the range. Got some surprising results. I shot at seven yards. I used my Kimber 1911 five inch barrel. Our load is 185 XTP with nine grains of silhouette. CCI large pistol primer. Cartridge overall length of 1.240. Uh, this was standing two hand hold. The accuracy seems to be okay, but the velocity was only 771 feet per second. And our extreme spread from the highest to the lowest velocity was 97 feet per second. That's a wide variation, plus I'm way, way lower than I should be. I thought I'd be somewhere around 1,000 feet per second. So I don't know, there's something not right with this load, the powder, the primers. Um, Silhouette seems to be a uh, fairly popular powder. I'm just starting to use it. Maybe it's supposed to work under uh, more of a max load. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 9.0 grains of silhouette again, but I'm going to use a Magnum pistol primer and just so that I have another load to work against. I'm going to use another powder also, so I'll have two powders. and Let's see how these loads compare. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to do my load again with silhouette, 9 grains of silhouette, but I'm going to use CCI Magnum pistol primers. And also, since I've had really good luck using Power Pistol, I'm going to use Power Pistol and I'm going to use Federal Large Pistol Primers. When I used this combination for the 45 Super, it worked well. Uh, this load is going to be much more mild, just a, a straight 45 ACP load, not a plus P or a Super load. So let's uh, load these up, compare them, and see how they shoot. Hey, back from the range. Some surprising results. Once again, we're shooting at seven yards, Kimber 1911, five inch, uh, 185 XTP, nine grains of silhouette, but this time I'm using the CCI large pistol magnum primer. Same overall length of 1.240 inches. The group seems to be okay. The velocity certainly bumped up to, uh, it is average of about a thousand seven feet per second. The extreme spread was very wide though. 
143, that's not really very good at all. The group size is okay, but that extreme spread between the highest and lowest shot is way too high. The other load that I did was using power pistol, so that's a 185 XTP, 8.9 grains of power pistol, federal large pistol primer, overall length of 1.240 inches. This load is straight out of the Hornady reloading manual. This is not a plus P, just a standard 45 ACP load. The group was really nice. That's um, five shots right there. Nice tight group. A little bit of vertical, but uh, that's me. Uh, but the average velocity was 1,033 1, feet per second. That's pretty good. But the extreme spread from highest to lowest was only 22 feet per second. That's, that's pretty good. So this is a very good load. I've always had good luck using power pistol. Back to using Silhouette. I'm going to have to work with this powder a little bit. Maybe it just runs best under near max load. Um, certainly using the Magnum Pistol Primer made a difference, but the extreme spread is way too much. When I use this for 230 grain bullets, I didn't have any problems. So this powder may work best under uh, heavier bullets near max load. Some powders are like that. Anyhow, that's all that I have for today. Hey, if you like this type of content, please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Everyone have a nice day. Stay safe. And thanks for watching.